Morning, I hope you're doing really well. I'm at home, not in Chile, doing a Cross Andes bike race. So annoying. So when I got back from Morocco, I got COVID and I actually had it pretty bad. So I wasn't able to fly out to Chile to do the ultra that I'd been looking forward to for half a year. So instead of that, I am prepping my gravel bike for winter riding and I've got some gravel cycling winter hacks that I wanted to share with you whilst I do it. <coughs> So these hacks are probably good for most bikes, but I'm focusing on gravel because that's what I particularly enjoy riding at the moment. And often you'll be riding off road. So it does differ slightly from your road bike. Although of course these tips are transferable. So number one, this WD-40 or Mr. Sheen. If you put this on your frame, it's gonna make it so much easier. It stops the dirt from sticking so much. So makes cleaning, which I hate, a far easier task. Just make sure that you don't get this on your disc brakes. Two, gloves. Mechanics gloves or gardening gloves under your normal gloves make them so much warmer, trust me. Some of my friends won't even do this because it makes their hands so hot. Three, protect your frame. I probably should have put some of this on my bike before it got trashed. This is from Dyed Bro, it is frame protection. I was given this in a goodie bag at Grindoro, I think. You can also use helicopter tape, which is a kind of thick padded tape similar to Gorilla Tape, and you can get that online, eBay, wherever you like to shop. Four, I think, and this tip, not really a hack, or is it? I don't know, anyway, double tape your bars. This is gonna make them much more comfortable. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but I think it stops your hands getting as cold, because obviously bars are metal, so if you've got very cold metal handlebars and your hands on them, then that cold will transfer to your fingers, right? So double taping your bars is going to keep your hands warmer. That's my theory at least. Feel free to disprove it. Anyway, this I like very much is Super Care's uh, Super Sticky Kush Bar Tape. It's quite expensive. This is 30 quid, but it's camo. Um, and if you've got something quite thick like this, you might not need to double tape your bars. So yeah, it's just a suggestion. Next tip, just to tape an inner tube to your bike. So I have a few different bikes as you know and I always forget to switch saddlebags around and that kind of thing. So one of the things that I do to make life a bit easier for me is to tape a tube and levers to my frame, leave it there and then you are good to go. As long as you have a pump, hopefully you have a pump. Speaking of pumps, I got sent this really cool, tiny, tiny electric pump. I will go and grab it at the end of this. Where am I up to? Hack number six. Now, it's all very well having these lovely vented shoes to keep your feet cool in summer, but when you get to winter, not so good. So one thing that I've done in the past is actually put blue tack in the vents and holes on my shoes to stop the air going through and making my feet cold. You can also use duct tape, doesn't look very pretty, but it does do the job. And if you can stick a pair of overshoes over the top of, of that as well, that's gonna really help keep your feet warmer. Another thing that I did when I was a bike messenger is I actually put shower caps, you know, like the thin ones they give away in hotels. I put shower caps on my feet over my socks and then I put my shoes on and that definitely helps keep my feet warm. Although, yeah, you rustle about as you walk and look a bit daft. Another daft one is if you're in a bit of a bind and you're getting very cold and it's raining, shower cap over the top of your helmet. But yeah, I'm not sure how desperate I'd have to be to rock that look. <laughs> my last tip, I think, unless I suddenly think of some more, is to fit a mudguard on your gravel bike. Um, so mudguards have come quite a long way and you can get some that are fairly decent. This is the latest one that I've been given, it's called the Win Wing by Ass Savers. They used to make those ones that you just stick underneath your saddle and we used to use them when we were bike messengers. But this one, it's got a bit of a frame, so it's much better. Um, let's stick this on now and let's see what it's like. Mount holder, place close to tire, pull straps tight, attach blade, adjust angle, fold to shape. Pretty self-explanatory. Oh, this is pretty good. Looks pretty good. Before I go, let me go grab that little pump and I will show you what it's like. Here it is. It is made by Psych Plus. Seek, you say it. Psych Plus. Psych Plus, thank you. I was skeptical because 
I just didn't think it, why was I skeptical? I just didn't think it'd be that good, but actually it really works quite well. Maybe. <laughs> That's it. So it's got an LED on the back here, which tells you how much charge it's got. Currently none, although it does still seem to work. And according to the limited, limited information that I've been able to find about this, uh, one full charge will inflate um, one 700C wheel like this only once. Smaller wheels, obviously it will do more it'll pump them up more times um, and initially I thought that was pretty poor because surely you want to be able to inflate more than one tire but I guess as a little emergency solution on a ride normally you're not going to get more than one puncture and have to inflate more than one tire are you normally you'd hope um, and certainly I would never go out just with this without a pump or co2 or something like that so yeah um it, it has its place i suppose in in some way but i don't think it could ever replace a pump entirely just in case it failed or in case you forgot to charge it but anyway i'll put a link to it in case you want to check it out and i'll put a link to the other stuff that i've shown you um i hope you think these tips and hacks are useful let me know if you've got any more of your own and yeah, see ya soon. Bye.